Then we had SmackDown, which had a lot of stuff going on. So uh, it was clips from last week of Roman telling Paul that no man could beat him. And Paul said, yeah, that's why Nick signed a four-way. And Roman is furious and tells him to go fix it. So show's supposed to be it's supposed to open with the Cameron Grimes match, but Solo and Jimmy jump him. And Austin Theory and Grayson are in the ring and they get out of there. And Paul does his big promo and he says, We're not the bad guys here, Nick Aldis is. He's put Roman in a four way. Practically guaranteed, he says, that mm-hmm. Roman's gonna lose the title. And Aldis ends up coming out and he grabs a mic away from Paul and he says, This four way is a done deal. The second match has been ruined by the bloodline. You're not going to ruin the main event tonight because it is AJ and LA Knight and Randy Orton versus Solo, Jimmy, and Roman Reigns. And Paul is furious, and he says, Roman's not even here. And Aldis says, man, you're right. Well, looks like you got a couple hours to find a third man. Otherwise, it is a handicap match. That was the main event. We had uh, Jimmy freaking out backstage. Solo says, I'm never worried. Angel and Umberto versus Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wild with Santos on commentary. This was really good. Yeah, it's a very good match. Like, everybody they, looked great in this match. They did really good in this match, yeah. Carlito's music hits. Santos goes, this guy's going to take 10 minutes to get to the ring, but Carlito attacks him. They brawl into the crowd. By the way, uh, the uh, uh, in the ring, Wild hits a cradle. Angel sits down on him, grabs ropes, gets the pin. So, uh, good match. Very good match. Carmelo's there, and he's trying to meet with Aldis. Theory and Waller show up. This leads to uh, Carmelo and Theory later on in the show, which did not end well. Logan Paul pre-tape promo. He says that uh, Kevin Owens' thing on his hand is a weapon, and he says, I'm not just going to beat you in a wrestling match. I'm going to beat you in court. I'm ready for our fight. Are you ready to face me in a fair fight? Because if you show up with that cast on, the match is canceled. We had a segment where Butch met with Tyler Bate. And uh, essentially, Tyler Bate's trying to, you know, he wants to be a team and Butch wants none yeah, of they it. Want, yeah, they want to be a tag team. And then Butch doesn't know what he wants. And Tyler says, we could show the world what British Strong Style is all about. You need to look inward and ask yourself, what is that name going to be? So I think he's going back to Pete Dunne. Thank God. Maybe, maybe. But but, but the um, Brawling Brutes are no more because I guess when Sheamus comes back, they're just not going to be doing that. And Rich Holland is in NXT now. Well, he should be the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne with Tyler Bate. Yeah. Be a great team. So we had he, said he, young... didn't want to be a, he said he didn't want to be a team. He's being talked into it. It's patently yeah. obvious here. Yeah. Bianca and Bailey had a match. And the story here was that Bailey kept looking for help. And not damage any. control just stood there, and they did nothing. And uh, finally, at the end, it's like Bianca. This was this was something else. Bailey throws her outside, sells a knee injury to distract the ref. She expects damage control to attack Bianca. They do nothing. They just stand there. So Bianca gets in the ring. She spears her, and she sets her up for the KOD. And Bianca literally stops. Looks outside, waiting for them to run in. And they don't. They don't. She hits the move. She's still waiting for them to run in for the DQ. They don't. And she gets the pin. So I just love that in in WWE, like, Bianca's expecting this match to be ruined. And she's caught off guard that she actually got a win. So Bailey got left hung out to dry by her friends. Kevin did a promo saying... You call this a liability, but it's actually a liability for me. I have a broken hand. He said, next week, Kevin Owens' show, we can talk about this lawsuit face-to-face. We had uh, Bailey all upset, and Dakota said, the ref was looking right at us. We couldn't do anything. We thought you facing Bianca on your own was a good idea, just like you winning the Royal Rumble. All by yourself is a good idea. And they uh, they walk off. Lashley and the Street Profits come out, challenge AOP and Karrion Cross, they come out and announce their uh, new team is the uh, the Final Testament, is the name of this group, and they're going to take out everybody. Paul's backstage trying to recruit everybody. It's not working. Then we had Carmelo and Austin Theory. 
So, the match is going along really well, actually. And then, Theory tried the spot where he runs and he jumps and he tries to bounce off the top rope into a Spanish fly. And he didn't rotate at all. And Carmelo, like, as they're doing the move, it wasn't even so much that Austin landed on his head and neck, although it looked like he kind of did. But as Carmelo's falling off the ropes, the back of his head smashes right into Austin Theory's face. And, you know, sometimes these referees will like, you know, is this guy okay? Can he keep going? This ref stopped it immediately. And they got the doctor in there, and, you know, they said on Twitter that both guys were all right and just had facial contusions. But uh, apparently Theory's in medical protocol, so he clearly got the worst of it here. And, man, it was brutal. They showed that. I watched that replay over and over. Back of the headbutt, right to the guy's face. So then we had uh, the main event, which was uh, Solo and Jimmy versus LA Knight, AJ, and Randy. But uh, they attack Randy on the ramp. They beat him up. He's taken to the back. So it's a uh, two-on-two match. And then, of course, there near the end, Orton's music hits. He starts heading down to the ring. Orton tags in, big comeback, and uh, ends up hitting the RKO on Jimmy and getting the pin. And so Solo goes after Randy afterwards. AJ wipes him out with a forearm. LA hits the BFT. Orton hits the RKO. And uh, they go outside, take apart the announce table. They gave Solo the shield powerbomb through the table. And then Paul ends up uh, calling Roman. So the whole point of the match was, you know, essentially three, all three of these guys beat up both members of the bloodline. So it was three on two. And in the pay-per-view, it's going to be three on one. So they're trying to convince you, buy this show because Roman Reigns might get beaten. Don't think you should buy the show for that. Maybe just it's buy the Royal Rumble. Rumble. That's what people are going to buy the show for. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, overall, it's a pretty good build for the Royal Rumble. So uh, so that was that. Orange sold the knee, which is... He got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked Matt Menard said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's before probably going. ROH. Are you smoking or what's what? happening here? I don't, what the fuck what is, is happening? I have no Bro. Clue. What is this? Dude. Like there's, I've changed nothing. Smoking is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need <laughs> right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors, too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm everyone's saying, this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh, my God. Maybe I open them. What is... There we go. The sun moved. Well, uh, yeah, the sun actually. The no. Earth, oh. Okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.